And welcome, welcome, welcome to our live stream for this Tuesday. We're live streaming on YouTube, we're live streaming on Facebook, and we're saying a very, very good morning to every single one of you. Lovely to have you with us, and a very, very warm welcome. Fantastic stuff. Now, how are things with you? I ask you, dinky do. Wonderful to be back with you, of course. We live stream now twice a day. Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning and 8 o'clock in the evening. So try and not miss either of them or try and catch one of them. That's what I would say. Good morning, Scotty. This is the wonderful John Jones. Good morning, John Jones. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClue live streaming. Just for you, Dinky Doo. We've only got one hour. Hello, Scotty. Dinky Doo says Mo. Hello, Mo. And uh, a lot of you will have seen on both YouTube and Facebook that it was 28 years last night at 10 o'clock since Scotty McClue first hit the airwaves in Lancashire. Hello, good morning, good morning, Mo. Lovely to have you with us and welcome, welcome, welcome. Zai Kai Tang in Liverpool, dinky do, and a very warm welcome to you. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic stuff. This is great. Hello, Scotty. Hello. Come and join us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Has everybody liked the stream? Have we had that one? Hello, Scotty. How are we today? Oh, Kareem, fantastic today. Brilliant. Does anybody get a sort of slightly new feeling about the world? So there you are. Good morning, Scotty. I hope you're well. I hope your day will be great. You too, Mo. Very, very important that we have a nice day. J-Dog, Dinky Doo, Scotty, just so you know, a spaghetti bolognese with garlic bread for last night's dinner. Fantastic, J-Dog. I do apologize, but I think you were having dinner when the idiot was coming on. So there we are. And uh, we just had to make sure that we dealt with the, the, the person properly. There are the wonderful Catherine Raven. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Catherine. Thank you for all your support, and it's lovely to have you around. There we are. Tremendous stuff. Uh, Kareem's watching both streams. Kareem, are you watching both streams this morning? Fantastic. So uh, we're watching on Facebook Live. We're live. Hey, come and have a chat with us. Fantastic. Yes, I was away when the idiot came on. Absolutely. But uh, we shamed the idiot as much as possible. And we explained to the idiot how jealous the idiot obviously was of you, J-Dog because of all your abilities. So there you are. So in a way, they say that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. There are still DJs trying to be Scotty McClue, but of course they never will be, because although they can use all my phrases and they can use all my ideas, they, they don't know what's coming next, you see? And that's the strength of McClue. And if you think about it, everything we watch in information, education and entertainment what's coming next what happens next i got some lovely comments about my novel that's up on youtube there we are scotty mcclue deliver us from evil it's only chapter one and people are saying what what's next what happens next you see that's the that's the great strength of it dinky do nicky McHugh, good morning Lovely to have you with us. And Ali Hennings watching. Thank you, do, Ali. Fantastic stuff. Uh, J-Dog, welcome back. Hello. Apologies for doubting it was you. What have you had for breakfast? Hello, Robster, Catherine, and anyone I missed. No props, Kareem. I understand why you are confused. But is it not something of a compliment, J-Dog, that some halfwit thought that they, they, they could be you? There you are, you see. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Scotty. You always make me smile. A lovely way to start the day. Chapter 1 is great. So well written, of course. I thank you. Well, we just wrote it off the top of the head, and I gave it to one lady to look at. She went, your sentences are too long. I thought, no, that's what you're used to reading. This is different. This is by Scotty McClue. So there we are, you see. So you have to break the convention because people... You know, how can anyone be like me? J-Dog, they can't. <laughs> you are unique. Fantastic. So there you are. So they can't be like you. Uh, Darren Meekin, Thomas Bean, come and join us. Says Nikki, come on up, you all get. Fantastic. Good one, Nikki. 
And uh, Stephen John Craig, wonderful. Excellent. Getting everybody on the go there. Good morning, good morning, if you've just joined us. Now, I shall have to get the sharing started, and so shall you, please, because it's all in the sharing and the liking and the subscribing. For instance, we need another 10 of these right away. So if you haven't liked the stream, you'll see a little thumbs up bottom left of the picture you're watching me in. Yes, and if you can give it one of these, that would be great. Uh, so there we are. So there's your answer to that one, J Dog. Fantastic. People can't be like you. Now, uh, we're doing the mornings at the moment, 10 o'clock through until 11, just one hour, um, because uh, we want to keep up our traditions. And uh, at night, of course, 8 o'clock until 9 last night was outstanding. 28 years of Scotty McClue, and I had a half-witted idiot going, Ah, it's, it's time to chuck it now. And what is some idiot telling Scotty McClue it's time to chuck it? Do you know what I mean? That's some idea. People have this in their head, you know. I can remember the late Harry Seacombe, who was a massive international singing star, comedian, wonderful guy. Harry Seacombe, one of the goons. And he did a program on a Sunday night singing hymns. And it was an outstanding program. And I remember a guy going, he was singing, I think it was Guide Me Over Thou Great Jehovah, which he did quite beautifully. And some idiot goes, ah, oh, for goodness sake, Harry, just give up. And I thought, what's it to do with that idiot? The joy and the pleasure that Harry brings to millions. And some half-witted idiot thinks it's time to chuck it. <laughs> the half-witted idiot should chuck it. That's what I say. Uh, so there we are, wonderful stuff. But it is amusing that as you get a little bit older in uh, show business, people uh, say, ah, ah, that's, ah, that's. I can remember about a year after I started, that's 27 years ago, people saying, well, of course, Scotty's old hat now, you know, that's last year. <laughs> Scotty Lester, cities in lockdown, the schools closed on Thursday. People doubted me, saying it can happen here. Well, here's your proof. They will be quiet now. Tail between the legs, Kareem. I don't know why anyone doubts you, because everything you say is well considered and well thought out. So it's just so strange how, as I say, the halfwit doubts the clever. Yeah, very strange. So there we are, Rich McCusker, but I suppose the halfwit perhaps doesn't feel they've got the equipment, although they actually have, to think things through. I think, ah, no, no, you see, consequential thinking. If we did that, that will happen. And even when you get up to the highest level, so-called, in this country, there's very often a lack of consequential thinking. If I do that, that will cause that to happen. Yes? There we are. Robert Rovers, Dick, he do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent. Richie McCusker, you're very welcome, sir. Always lovely to have you on a live stream. So there we are. 28 years of Scotty McClure. I'm sure we can manage another couple of years, God willing, weather permitting. Uh, good morning, Scotty. Dink, you do, Mr. McClure. You see, the thing is, I haven't scratched the surface yet. There's so much to do. We've still got to appear in the movies. We've got more radio to do, late night radio, early morning radio, all that stuff. Chit chat, fantastic. Um, I think that really after lockdown, I've been looking at what the public service broadcaster is providing. And I would like to run ideas past them. But uh, I do know that they panic a lot. For instance, apparently on the public service broadcaster in this country, you can't have an opinion yourself. How does that sit? Morning, Scotty. Did you do tell Mrs. McClure? I said good morning. I shall do it right now, Glenn. Are we ready? Darling! Yes. <clears throat> yes, I'm, oh, absolutely. She's, she's cooking. Um, Glenn says hello. Yes, Glenn. No, no, Glenn from Sheffield, remember? Last night and yesterday. Yes, that's it, same guy. Lovely fellow. Great. Skyped us the other night. Yes. Okay, I'll tell him. She says, hi, Glenn. So there we are. Mrs. McClue says, hi. Morning, morning all. 
Uh, so there you are. So, Kareem, just so that you know, for the record, you will be right. Yes, because you know what you're talking about. The wonderful Annie Donald's watching. Good morning, Annie. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, welcome to Scotty McClue. We're live streaming just for you. We're doing mornings at the moment. I may have to obviously curtail the mornings if uh, if work shouts because we have a we have a saying in the media: "Don't give up your day job." <coughs> <laughs> I've had many discussions. Most say all kids must be in in August. My blended learning is safer, consistent and stability, not a seesaw week for kids. Thinking, are we in or are we not in because of the R rate? Absolutely, yes, indeed. And of course, <clears throat> what they're finding, first people will say, yeah, but young people don't seem to get it. No, but they can carry it. And the thing is, the age has dropped by a half. Now, it's gone from something like 66 to 33. So the average age of people being infected with COVID-19 is now 33. There we are, Kelvin Allen, Dinky Doo, Louise Arrow, Dinky Doo. Perhaps young people have got better immune systems in general. I still would not like to risk lives. There we go. And, uh, you know, all that sort of idea. And I had the discussion last night with somebody uh, on social media. They were on about the terrific economic pressures. Three months of lockdown will never beat 50 years in the EU, right up there with the top countries. Now we have nothing. There we go. We're not even protected. Brian Hall, Dinky Doo, John Gallagher, lovely to have you with us. Great that the wonderful Louise Arrell's watching. Top photographer, Dinky Doo. <coughs> so there you are. So your discussions are quite right, Kareem. You're quite right to have all these discussions now. Can we do a bit of sharing, guys? Because nobody knows we're on. They're all sitting going, oh, I wish there was something decent on the telly or the radio. I heard um, a program on radio this morning. Uh, Scotty, do you think it's a good time to seriously think about shutting or patrolling the border? Which border, Robert Rovers? Remember, there are four countries in the United Kingdom, all with borders. So there we are, Dinky Doo, my good man. There we are, what is it? Um, Boris was saying the border in the middle of the Irish Sea. Yes, well, how would you know when you've crossed the border if there's uh, a wavy night? Dinky Doo, Scotty, good morning, says the wonderful Keen Gray. Good morning, Keen. Lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Can everybody share? Dinky Doo, my good man, our Brian Hall. Dinky Doo to you, my good man. Wonderful stuff. Now, I'm just going to move you for a wee second, guys. Sorry about the bloody bit. Uh, just to see what's happening here. Oh, I've got you. Don't worry. You're in safe hands. Uh, now, there we are. We do that. And uh, we do that. Now, I'll need to get... There we are. A wee bit of that. And that's us. Good. Good soon to do the sharing, guys. Can you all do the same, please? Um, quick, quick, quickity quick, live now. There we are. It'll come up. Wonderful. Oh, yes. I'm not just an athlete, you know. No, 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 no. Right. That's gone. Now, here we go again. More sharing. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Has everybody told 10? So, uh, Robert, tell me more about this border that you think we should be patrolling. And I will tell you exactly what I think about it. Um, you know, very, very interesting. Are you talking about when you're saying patrolling the border, I take it you mean for COVID-19. So there we go. Because obviously, there's lots of interesting things happening. Just going to do one more share to the big Scotty McClue page. Let everybody know that we're live right now. David Negus has joined us. Wonderful. Lovely to have you with us, David. Now, guys, there's a delay in getting your messages read out. So don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> don't panic. That's wonderful. There we go. Right, I'll share this to the uh, Scotty McClure, the big Scotty McClure page on, uh, on Facebook. 
let them know that we're live as well and if you can all do the same that would be outstanding lovely to have you with us fantastic stuff now then um are you having anything nice for brunch oh glenn yes well today i think we're going for the poached eggs on toast to do we oui, we oui. absolutely fantastic so there are, yes indeed says robert rovers so there we are so which border robert um thank you for that glenn absolutely yes best of stuff i know what she means but it's just because you're thoroughly descriptive describing the characters events and places i agree we are all unique there we are um allah loves variety from what movie so there we go it's fantastic stuff right so uh, what are we having next um, so there we are. Catherine, is that what you meant to say there? Did, did the predictive text get you? Can I have some more likes, please, guys? Like, like, like to like, like to like to like. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that we are live now. Uh, spread the word. Get it out there. Let everybody know. Um, yes, I know what she meant. Or oh, describing the characters, events, and places. I agree we're all unique. So there we go. From what movie? Don't quite follow you there, Catherine. Uh, a little bit of dubiety in the message. Uh, good morning, Scotty Dinky Dirty from Paul Crookshank's Wonderful Man. Uh, yes, yes, James Dryland. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. People are very slow at getting up during lockdown, unless they're away to their work. Kareem, that's so kind of you. Kareem has just tapped the dollar which is either at the top or the bottom of your chat, and he's uh, bought me a hot chocolate. Is that not beautiful? Just ignore the end of the message. Right, I thought so, yes. I thought that was a little, a little bit strange, Catherine. I wasn't sure what had happened, but I did read it out. So there we are. Fantastic. And uh, I don't think anyone will mind that. John Houston, love the beard, Scotty, dinky do fantastic lovely 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 so there we go no sometimes when you're doing predictive text kareem that was very generous of you there we are um remember watching scotty mcclue is absolutely free at the point of delivery so no charge at all but wonderful people like kareem are very very kind and kareem is very generous indeed and he sends me a pound on a very regular basis. I think you've sent three during one program, Kareem. Yes, that's enough now. You need your pennies. Uh, love the beard, love the beard. Absolutely. Tom MacArthur's watching. James Ryland, not me, Scotty, up at 4 a.m. Most days for work. Ah, James. So have you just come in from work, James? Fantastic. Derek McIntyre's watching Dinky Doo. Top man. And uh, fantastic. Scotty, there are 21 roads into the English border and two railway links. So I don't know if he's talking about the Scottish border. I don't know if he's talking about for COVID-19 or uh, in general, it's time to shut the border. I don't know. We need to find out more. So there we are. Uh, right, Catherine, no bother. I shall just ignore that. Scotty, what about Leicester shutting shops and lockdown? Many people will not listen. David Lafferty, you're 100% correct. That's the problem. People will not listen. As a friend of mine used to say, sadly no longer with us, he used to say, the trouble with people is they will not take a telling. And Scotty McClue knows that because I've been telling them for 28 years last night. Uh, so I think if advice on coronavirus was still visible off Facebook on everyone's page, and the news people wouldn't have got complacent. Do you know, Catherine Raven, that's a very, very good point. We had pop-ups all the time from the Chief Medical Officer, from the First Minister of Scotland, from um, the other wonderful chap that pops up with the lovely voice. Uh, so there you go. And, you know, with all that happening all the time, warning you, warning you, warning you. And there are Glenn Peacock, you naughty, naughty boy. Glenn's just tapped the dollar bill and sent a pound now. My goodness me, that's two hot chocolates. Oh, 
I won't be able to sit down. I'll have a hot chocolate after the show. Yes, exactly. So there we are. Absolutely, Catherine. So there you have it. And not today, mate. Off today. Back at work tomorrow. James Dryland, thank you for everything you're doing. The getting up at 4 a.m., I've done it myself on many an occasion. I used to get in, I once did a 25-hour day. And you think, impossible. No. And my leg wouldn't work at the end of it. So what I did was I finished a show in Sheffield at 1 o'clock in the morning. I drove home. I got into bed at 2. And I dropped off to sleep at 3. I can remember checking the clock. Oh, three o'clock. I got up um, three hours later. So what was that? Six. I went off to get a train for a meeting in London. I went to London. I did a 40 winks on the train, I have to say. I went to London. I had the meeting at lunchtime. I got the train back to Sheffield from London. I got in at tea time in the craziest taxi I've ever been in. I think there were zero shock absorbers left. And um, I got back to the house in Sheffield. I had a fish tea from the Chippy in Hillsborough. And I went and did a show at Radio Hallam, Hallam FM. And I then uh, got in my car uh, after the show, I walked the dog. I left Sheffield uh, before two o'clock and I drove to Glasgow. And I got into Glasgow at about six in the morning. I walked up the stairs to bed and my leg wouldn't work properly. And I looked at, calculated, I thought I've just done a 25 hour day. There we are. And I used to, you know, have to do things like that regularly. And uh, But I de never seemed to get tired, you know. But when I got into bed that morning, I slept till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 6 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. So there we go, you know. Showers are a wonderful thing. What's for breakfast, Scotty? Ah, Stuart Hotton. We're just talking about this. There's definitely a hot chocolate for breakfast. Because Glenn Peacock and Kareem Zachariah have just arranged that for me. Fantastic. They've tapped the dollar bill. Um, yes, yes. I think England have had a laissez-faire approach. I love it, Kareem. Laissez-faire. Leave them to it. Laissez-faire approach to Corona. And the results are showing. Wait till July 4th. When they fully open, the R rate will go through the roof. Yes, I think there's too many doubting Tomses. You know, um, idiots going, ah, you have more chance of a not good bad person. Very big chance of catching coronavirus, hence the lockdown. And remember, that's only what we are getting told. There will be other things going on with people saying, oh, for goodness sake, don't. Glenn Peacock, Scotty, you're welcome. Enjoy your hot chocolate. No, but you're very kind, Glenn. You and that Kareem man, lovely man. The bank holiday weekend with the beach at Bournemouth and many other beaches didn't help. Of course it didn't. People say, oh, how come nobody's got it then? It, there's an incubation period of about, what is it, four weeks? Three weeks, four weeks, and many other beaches didn't help matters. The economy has to grow, and uh, they should have locked down till the winter. Yes, I mean, all this, we need to get the economy started. There will be nobody there to do the economy if everybody gets coronavirus. Do you see what I mean? There's, there will be no point. People say, let's get on back to normal. You say, there will be no normal to go back to if we all die from coronavirus. You know, that sort of thing. They don't seem to realise because there is a kind of person, I won't say idiot, but there's a kind of person that doesn't understand that just because you can't see something doesn't mean it doesn't exist you know so there you are ask everybody who has a religion across the world there we are um yes says catherine absolutely yes indeed so you just have to make that leap of faith in the medical profession and in god some carry on with the fairies so there we are 
13 lead booking time. 13 lead. Stuart, I don't, I don't quite get your message there. 13 lead. I have the, has the predictive text got you? I wonder. There we are. Yep, says Catherine. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Catherine. A lot of sense been talked. Guys, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Time for a wee bit more sharing. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. So there we are. And uh, shall we tweet? Shall we tweet? What do we put in the hashtag for the tweet? This is always great fun. Scotty, do you think poor J-Dog will get bothered tonight uh, from the trolls? I hope not, even other members. I hope not, Kareem, but there are some serious idiots out there who like to ruin something that's really, really good. And every single person who's discovered this stream, right? And remember, only a handful have discovered it yet. There's a whole world out there that don't know we're live at 10 o'clock sharp and 8 o'clock in the evening because we're, in the scale of things, still very new. In other words, we're at, what are we at today? Show 38. So 38 shows in the scale of things starting on social media. I mean, had it been on national television from the start, you would have seen a huge, huge audience by now. You see, but it's telling the television people that because they immediately go, no, I mean, Scotty, <laughs> I mean, he he must be about a million by now, you know what I mean? And what if it didn't work? We always get that. I always remember when we brought out the Scotty McClue video, there was a guy going about, he says, can we have a copy of the script? And I said, there is no script. He said, but we need to work from a script. I said, well, you'll just have to go with the flow. Because what if this what if this doesn't work? I said, well, there's no question of it not working. And he said, how can you say that? I says, because, you know, my experience. I said, I've been doing this for donkey's years. You know, so anyway, the, the, the poor souls, they were a bit anxious about, you know, everything that a bit wonderful became an absolute bestseller, outsold Billy Connolly, all that sort of thing. So, you know, proof of the pudding. I say, the proof of the pudding. Uh, good morning, Scotty. I watched your talk show with Bill McMurdo and George Best, etc. Your other radio times. Very good. Well worth a listen. Have a fantastic day. Andrew, can I direct you to Scotty McClue Talks to David Heyman? And, uh, and Patrick Rolink, the comedian, was in the studio as well. Uh, Patrick came in with David and they were talking about their charity Spirit Aid which is fantastic, goes and helps children across the world. And David is a marvellous, marvellous man, but of course an outstanding actor. So please have a listen. Scotty McClue talks to David Heyman. You will not be disappointed because it's all, every day, I think every day, who's in entertainment, who's on stage, who's in the theatre, who's in movies, because David Heyman has done the lot. You know, I mean, wonderful. Morning, Scotty. How are you? Says Reese Jack Hamilton. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Reese Jack Hamilton. Cool name, cool guy. Uh, fantastic. Good morning. Says the wonderful nationwide coin hunt. Good morning, nationwide. Lovely to have you with us. Great name, by the way. Cool name, cool guy. Scotty, the best facial mask would be with Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue, Tell Ted to Tell Ted. Do you know, Glenn, you've just brought out a brilliant idea there. I think that's the next one, isn't it? Scotty McClue face masks. So there we are. Tell Ted to Tell Ted. I would need to get some help with the pennies, though, from someone else because I wouldn't be able to do the initial pennies. But what a superb idea. Gary McClure, Dinky Doo. So there we are. You see, Glenn, it's all still happening. 28 years ago last night, the first Scotty McClure show. 28 years. And here we are uh, in our 29th year. Yes? Fantastic. So there we go. Absolutely incredible. Now then, who have we got here? Gary McClure, Dinky Doo, a big warm welcome to you, Scotty McClure, live on Facebook and live streaming on YouTube simultaneously. Tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Guys, more likes, please. Like, 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 do you like? Like, do you like, do you like? 
Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten. You're a legend, says Glenn. So are you, Glenn, because you've been listening. You see what I mean? I mean, everybody knows, or everybody should know, you can listen to Scotty McClue on so many levels. So you will get something to cater for the dafty. You will get something to cater for the professor. You will get a call from the dafty. You will also get a call from the professor. Yes, you will get a call from the crook. You will get a call from the top lawyer. Fantastic. And of course, no names, no pack drill. We're interested in your call. Not your name or where you live or who you are, but your call. That's what we're interested in. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of COVID outbreaks are connected to live animal markets and food processing plants and the likes. Maybe a change in diet would benefit us all. Yes, but I was finding out that if you've got arthritis, stay off the tomatoes. So there we are. Hiwa Hamadamin is watching. Hiwa or Hiwa? Hiwa, how do I say it? Hiwa Hamadamin. Yes, is that reasonable? But do tell me, I like to get these beautiful names right. Thank you, Glenn. Yes, thank you. Yes, McClue, the legend. The famous Lorenzo de N. D. J. Enzo. What do you make of our progress in suppressing the virus here in Scotland? I think that the Scottish government have been outstanding. Regardless of your politics, that's nothing to do with it. This is not a political issue. And I think had Winston Churchill still been in charge, we would have now had a national government at Downing Street. All parties in there, multi-party, multi-idea, that sort of thing. National government and Nicola would have sat on the national government as well. That sort of idea. So there we go. Fantastic. Uh, Scotty, I think I'm going to Loch Orr to walk the dogs. Have you ever been? It's near Loch Leven. Loch Leven in Fife, Kareem. Yes, Loch Leven. Uh, now, Loch Leven in Fife, what's the wee place that's absolutely handy for that? Gorgeous wee place in Fife. Well worth a look. And then you've got Falkland as well. So there you are. Royal Residence, Falkland, Falkland Castle. You're watching football tonight, Scotty Glenn. I don't know the first thing about football. I couldn't even tell you what the, the white things are with the nets in them. I don't know what they're for. So there you go. So I, I wouldn't know. I don't think I've ever watched football. Sometimes I get caught up in a game just because it's a very, very good game. You know, they're very fast and furious. There we go. I think we are doing a great job too, says the famous Lorenzo DJ Enzo. Lorenzo DJ Enzo, I agree. So there we are. Scotland has done remarkably well. Catherine says, that's true about tomatoes. Avocado is good for the joints. Good, because I had one yesterday. For a two, two avocados. Is that too much? <laughs> Pardon me, uh, two avocados, good for the joints, you should use all of it. The seed can be ground up, as it's the most potent part of the avocado. So, so the big, shiny, great big seed in the middle, that can be ground up. That can go in your grinder, is that right, Catherine? So there we are. Scotty, a ball post and a net, you need to kick the ball into the opposite goals. Ah, Kareem, you're still, you're, you're miles ahead of me there, la. You know, you're talking, you're talking as if it could be a piece of technology that I've never seen before. Fantastic. Have you ever taken an interest in any sports? Yes, big rugby player. So there we are, big rugby player. And uh, sailing, big sailing man, dinghy sailing, enterprises and GP14s. And you remember that? Uh, fast and furious. And he ended up in the drink more often than not. Then, um, but I was very, very well taught. And um, then, uh, rowing, big rowing man. I pulled a good oar, as they say. It's very difficult to explain that in places like Lancashire. So there you are. Um, so that's the stuff, but I pulled a good oar. And um, when I put rowing down in my CV, somebody thought it was rowing. So there you are. They said, is this rowing? You've put rowing down. 
I know you do a lot of it. I said, no, 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 that's right. <laughs> so there we are, Glenn. So very good and very, very good at solitaire. Excellent. I'm a black belt in uh, karaoke and uh, that sort of stuff. And I did take um, gymnastics for anger management. But on the first night, I flipped. Oh, see what I just did there? Robert Rovers, so there we are. Fantastic. So, Hiwa, please tell me how to pronounce that I'm doing it properly. Scotty, I'll say it and apologise. I don't like rugby lol too much. Stopping and starting like American football. Rugby sevens is good and fast. Exciting and fast-paced, yes. What they used to say, Kareem, is that soccer or football is a, a gentleman's game very often played by hooligans and they used to say that rugby is a hooligans game very often played by gentlemen <laughs> so there you go my mother of course used to worry about it you know you show me your teeth anything happens to these teeth you you, you come out that rugby that sort of idea you know because you know, one or two of my friends you know they are yes i used to play a lot of rugby you know uh, so there we are. But um, I mean, I know a lot of rugby internationalists, and uh, I mean, they, they are absolutely incredible. And we were taught by one, I can remember, at a rugby camp. And he was running along, and uh, you know, we weren't doing the, the line properly. And he stopped us and he said, Guys, we either do this properly or not at all. It's up to you. Rugby internationalist. Played at Murrayfield a lot. Scotty, is Solitaire the cards game? No, Glenn. Solitaire is the one either with little pegs or marbles. And it's called Solid Solo because you play it on your own. And you have to see if you can win. And the trick is, is it to get the last peg into the hole in the centre? Or to leave an empty hole in the centre? Can't remember. But you've got all these pegs in a cross format. And you have to jump them over each other like drafts until you're only left with the one peg solitaire. But you play it on your own. And solitaire is the only game I know. I say to kids, football a boy's game, rugby a man's game. I might need to stop saying that with everything being politically correct now. Yes. Now, this is very interesting, Kareem, because when you're choosing the boy's football team, uh, you know, you can't say hands up, those of you that are gender fluid. Hands up, can you please tell me what you all present as, so I can choose the team. Now, you see, if it's the boys' football team, are we getting to a day when we have a mixed boys-girls football team rather than just a girls' football team and a boys' football team? Are we getting to the stage when we could see ladies on the park at an old firm game? You see, there's, all that's up for discussion, Kareem. It won't be popular, uh, but it'll be up for discussion. It might be very popular. There's a card game called Solitaire 2, Scotty. Ah, yes. Has everybody ever played games like Bezik? Do we know about Bezik? Has anybody played Baccarat? <laughs> Does anyone remember snakes and ladders? Fantastic. I loved Monopoly. I think that's a fabulous game. Get some right players. But I remember playing with some very senior people, a lot of lawyers and accountants. And I said, I'm just going to the loo. And I came back and I could see pink 500s in their bundles that weren't there before. I think they'd, uh, they'd, they'd robbed the bank when I was away at the loo. I suspect to this day that these top lawyers and accountants had robbed the bank in Monopoly. And then they joined together, because I was doing very well. Um, I think I'd got uh, Liverpool Street and Fenchurch Street Station. I think I'd got the Waterworks. I think of some of the brown ones. I think I'd maybe got some hotels on Park Lane. That sort of idea, although I still had uh, the old Kent Road and that lot. But... Um, they then bought me out, so, <laughs> so I got, there was a pincer movement and I got done in there. 
Very naughty. Um, oh, my nephew played rugby league for the John Lop Giants. He's a beautiful gentleman. He's now a police officer in the outback in Oz. Catherine Raven. How incredible. You're a very interesting lady, I have to say. I join both classes together and give the option of Division 1 and Division 2. It's a single-sex classes in our school. Any kid that struggles with football can go in to do dance, gymnastics, or trampolining. Well, you won't believe it, but McClure was a very, very good dancer, professional dance. I used to have to wear, and I don't want to put anybody off a late plate of wheat bangs here, but I used to wear my uh, flat shoes, leotards, and tights, and do two long layers and grand jetés. <laughs> I beg your pardon, madam. Uh, oh dear, oh dear, I forgot you were on. Oh, Gordon Robertson, dear, oh dear, oh me. Are you getting a wee bit forgetful? Or uh, are you just thinking, ah, heard, I've heard that much of him. <laughs> Mary Scotty, talk of games, I like Jenga. What is that? <coughs> oh dear, says Catherine. Oh dear, I forgot you were on. Oh dear, Gordon Robertson forgot we were on, folks. <laughs> Shows how much we mean to him, eh? <laughs> was it a speedboat in Loch Lomond last year, Scotty? One of those 15 minute trips. White knuckled, but was white knuckled, but I loved it. First time. But would do it again. Robert Rovers, you are a very brave man. Craig Cameron, Jeff Layton, lovely to have you with us. Uh, Gordon, welcome. Lovely to have you with us, you top man. They were, but you've already been punished enough because you've missed uh, 40 minutes of McClue. Tut 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 ha ha a naughty step uh, there's all the different types of formats of Monopoly these days cartoon versions, TV versions you can't beat the original format yes I believe you can get it for localised cities as well I think there might be a Glasgow Monopoly you know but I hope they keep the prices down also city and sports versions of it absolutely Glenn wonderful stuff and can I tell you, um, there's a wonderful game called uh, Trivial Pursuits. And Scotty McClue is on one of the questions. So there were, I don't know if I still am, but I was. And it was, um, I can't remember, my sister asked it when we were playing. And I said, you're kidding me. She said, look, she held up the Trivial Pursuits. And it was a question about Scotty McClue. What about that? Also City and Sport versions of it, says Glenn Peacock, Dinky Do Glenn. Lovely to have you with us. So if you've got a Trivial Pursuits check for the Scotty McClue question, I ask you. There we go. Um, yes, wonderful, says Catherine Raven. I think there was also a horse running called Scotty McClue at one point as well. Tremendous. Never a dull moment, I say. And I was the chieftain of the Bears Den in Mogai Highland Games, bless them. And I was absolutely privileged because they choose very, very big names. So they, they had George Tacky, the actor. They had Sir Douglas Bader, the air ace. They had Red Rum, the racehorse. Apparently that was quite fun. Somebody called into the pub and said, would you mind if we brought in the chieftain of the Highland Games? And no, not at all. Be delighted. And the Red Rum had a walk round the car park. <laughs> There's all different types of format. Oh, yes, we've done that one. Sorry. Uh, Catherine Raven. <laughs> She's doing smiley bits and laughy bits. Top lady. Wonderful stuff. Very interesting. So there you go. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. We're live streaming. I think the problem with Facebook now, because there's so many watch parties, and watch parties of Scotty McClue, people go, and I, I'm a record. He'll, he'll not be on himself at this time. Uh -huh. Newsflash. <laughs> Wonderful. So there we go. Gordon Robertson, lovely to have you with us. I hope you haven't just stumbled out of bed. Wonder, did you not get a notification? Because I did put it up. The problem with the mornings is I may have to chuck them at some point uh, because we have a saying in the media, do not give up your day job. There we go. So it's wonderful. So but we'll keep the nights going as long as possible. I've had a lot of requests because we said we were just doing nights until the end of lockdown. 
but uh, I've had a lot of requests in Scotty if you can keep it going it's a superb stream we love it so there you go Kareem Zacharias Scotty what are your plans until you're on at 8 p.m. tonight remember spaghetti is the one tonight well I've got a lot of paperwork to do Kareem and I've got some big bosses to phone you see, radio and television are in an absolute nightmare stage at the moment because people can't go into the buildings, so they're all doing it from home. What I love about it is McClure, as always, is a million miles ahead of everyone else because I've been doing broadcasts from, from the studio here for years and years and years. So it doesn't matter. People are quite used to seeing Scotty McClure. Now it's perfectly acceptable, you know, People say, oh, we need to get them into the studio, though, and get, like, you know, proper cameras and microphones. And people say, why? He's crystal clear in picture and sound every day. You know, that's the idea. There was someone at the horse racing yelling out your name to the camera. I can't remember where I saw it. Uh, you leave a big impression of people, Scotty. People just need to know where you are now. Absolutely, Catherine Raven, and that's where all you beautiful people come in. You need to be sharing now. Gordon Robertson is a wonderful sharer. Um, I'll tell you what, that that wasn't horse racing, Catherine. I think the one you're thinking of was Andy Murray was in Washington playing tennis, and the world's media were there covering him, and right at the front... An American, a, a, a Scottish guy in America, who's an international Scotty McClue fan, shouted out him, Dinky do, Andy, from Scotty McClue. And everybody looked up, and, and they all were shouting, Dinky, Dinky. <laughs> and of course, the world's media was covering it. If you see, all the cameras are there. So the whole of the world's media was hearing a fan absolutely random shouting out to andy murray world famous tennis champion you know dinky do andy from scotty McClure, and i'm pretty well 100 percent sure that andy would know scotty McClure, you know because being brought up in scotland he would have heard the shows so there we are that's right says catherine there we are catherine it's j-dog uh, for tonight's fake says kareem so there we are, we'll see. Scotty, just been reading an article online saying you got replaced by an MP3 player back in 2010 on Radio Lanarkshire. They've got no taste, can't they replace you? Well, we had a big, big stewardship problem. And uh, somebody uh, tried to sort of hijack the thing and connect it up to uh, an MP3 player. <laughs> You know, it's just madness, you know, just complete and utter nonsense, you know, but you get these crazy, crazy things because L107, apart from that, was a very, very successful radio station, uh, you know, very successful, but we did have a, a stewardship problem, sadly. So there we go. So that's that. So yes, you'd see that, Glenn, just, uh, just silly, silly people being very, 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 very silly. You know, I mean, trying to connect an MP3 player to a transmitter. It stop. It just doesn't bear thinking about. So there we are. These people are walking about. There we go. Uh, spaghetti had for dinner. The fake won't know because they're all asleep at the moment, Scotty. Lol. So there we are. Did you hear the lovely, lovely joke last night? Who told that joke last night? They said, um, my girlfriend didn't believe I could make a car out of spaghetti you should have seen her face when i drove pasta see what i just did there ah Catherine raven dinky do lovely smiles wonderful 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 there we are now yeah the old predictive text gets you you know it really does very very strange <clears throat> That's it. Uh, that's that little joke that goes round, isn't it? The the guy that invented predictive text, his fun fair. He has just he has just died. His fun fair <laughs> will be <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Lol says Glenn. So there we are. Tremendous stuff. Now then, 
What else have we got? If you've just joined, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. I am the first lord of the internet. I'm the world's top broadcaster. And I'm the world's most humble man. So there you are, just in case you thought there was any trumpet blowing, you know. Ah, good one, Kareem. You need to remember what Kareem had for his dinner, J Dog. Uh, <laughs> J Dog drove pasta. I've not heard that one before. Did you like that, Gordon Robinson? That was not me, though. That was one of our top, top contributors last night. So there we are. I drove pasta. We like that. I like all that sort of thing. You know, silly, silly jokes. I was standing at Glasgow Central Station and for some reason I bust into tears. And a transport policeman said, I could arrest you. I said, what for, for crying out loud? <laughs> See what I just did there? So there you go. It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. So they are gone and Robertson, you'll have heard them all. Standing at the bus stop, a double-decker pulled up. I said to the driver, are you going into town? He went, yes, downstairs only. I said, where's your top bit going? <laughs> And I told the one last night, didn't I, about... Uh, that's right, absolutely, I remember telling you that. It was a predictive text joke I liked best. So there you are. Yes, but you haven't uh, you haven't heard the, the second bit, Gordon. I'm not sure if I can tell it. Behave, Scotty, says Catherine. Absolutely lol, says Gordon Robertson. There is a second bit to it. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Now... Um, what have we got? Oh yes, Hugh Beatty Dinky Do. Always lovely to have you guys with us. Live streaming. We're live streaming in case you thought it was live. Look, look. Woo! See? Absolutely all happening. And we're on tonight at 8 o'clock sharp. Don't miss it. Everybody please like the stream. Subscribe to Scotty McClue. Very, very important because that's the way we will build... It gives us flexibility, Gordon, if we have the evenings. As I say, I may have to give up the mornings at some point, uh, especially if you keep forgetting I'm on. Um, oh, did you see? Oh, low blow, low blow. Um, yes, but uh, unlike us, unlike us. Um, but uh, I think that uh, I may have to, uh, you know, go back to work uh, on a day job. Don't, you never give up your day job in the media, you see. You don't give up your day job. So there we are. Uh, that's why I never gave up McClue's pies, the McClue meat pie, and the vegetarian lattice slice and the rich chicken sauce. Don't you forget it. Furniture shop that rhymes with um, IPEA has flat pack houses built in Bristol. Cheaper to put up and quicker. Watch this space. Go on, tell it. It's just a select few here today. We'd all appreciate it. Oh, no, I couldn't. I couldn't hit the second bit of it. It's very, very good. So there we are. This is the predictive text guy, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, his fun fair. <laughs> so there we are. <laughs> <coughs> I can't say the third word, but it's may he rust in... <laughs> and it begins with a P, obviously. <laughs> oh, wonderful. So there we are. Gordon, you'll sort all that out. You'll be telling that at your next dinner, I believe. Do you do after dinner speaking, Gordon? It wouldn't surprise me. And if you don't, you should. Give us a hint. I've just given you a hint. So there you are. I've gone in a hint. Have you heard that one when he says he whispered in a hint his horn? Yes, behind his hand. A full city in Yorkshire disappeared overnight. Police are looking for leads. <coughs> a lorry load of syrup overturned on the motorway and drivers have been asked to stick to the inside lane. <laughs> a toilet has been stolen from the police station and the police have nothing to go on. Can't say it for laughing, I cry laughing. Scotty, I'll say good day, have a good one. Everyone, dinky do, speak later, stay safe, please. Kareem, please, you stay safe, you wonderful man. Great stuff, says Gordon Robertson. 
Oh no, help! So there we are. And um, the uh, an elephant escaped and was on the motorway. And the police caught it just after it had done a ton. <laughs> Sorry, made myself laugh. <laughs> oh no, help! That's Catherine. <laughs> ah, wonderful stuff. Right, stop all this stuff. There are less of this hilarity. I see. Louise McShane's watching Dinky Dinky in care. Has joined us. Fantastic. Hugh Beatty. Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. I was asked to manage a couple of Sheffield football teams. They said, what days are you available? I said, well, I can't do Wednesday. Um, contagious laugh. Oh, please, my belly. Catherine. <laughs> Stop. This is supposed to be a serious... It's supposed to be a serious program. Great shows, show, Scotty. Excellent. Robert Rovers, always lovely to have you with us. The show is what it is. People say, what is it? Just talking and stuff. <laughs> yes, just talking. Stop. Catherine, you're setting me off. <laughs> great stuff. Absolutely great. Not a problem at all. Now then. Um, what I think we should do, make sure you're around at 8 p.m. tonight, 8 till 9. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment mornings we will do until we're told to stop. So there you are. How far do you go? You go until you're told to stop. Alan Doherty, dinky do, fantastic. Scotty. You're a cheeky bugger, says Glenn. Did you like that one, Glenn? There we are, a wee Sheffield joke for you. We like all that nonsense. We like a bit of that nonsense. So there we are. I'll tell you a lovely Yorkshire one. I'll finish up with this then. Are you ready? An old guy had made a lot of serious money in Yorkshire out of scrap. And he went down to London and he says, Aye, aye, Eli from Yorkshire. And he went into a top, top, top jewellers in Bond Street. He said, Aye, Eli, Eli from Yorkshire. He said, I'd like thee to make us model of me little Jack Russell dog. He said, Right. He said, And I'd like it life size. Now, brass is no object. So uh, you tell us what would that be? He says, "Well, what uh, what metal would you like to use? I mean, you know, do you want it in brass? Or... No, no, no. Want it solid gold? I want me little Jack Russell, life size, solid gold." He said, "Right." He says, "Brass is no object." He says, "Right. Uh, would you like it eighteen carat?" He said, no, I'll, uh, I'll have him tune a bone. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, I'll not be able to join you tomorrow morning, but I should be able to join tonight. Gordon Robertson, please, please don't put yourself out. It is always a privilege and a joy to have you with us. But uh, I understand you have a busy schedule. So there we go. And um, you have a wonderful day, Gordon. Take great care of yourself. And we shall catch up later. Dinky do. Catherine Raven says, Dinky do. Did you like that one, Catherine? Right, I'll have to go, loves. A lot of daddies watching. Dinky do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita zin. Au revoir. Edicirio. Have a lovely, lovely day, guys. You deserve the best of everything. Stay fabulous. Stay safe. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Stephen Mooney's just joined us. Dinky Doola, 8 o'clock tonight sharp. See you all there. Ta-ra-las! <laughs>